everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com. It's kind of late here, even on the West Coast. So this video is getting done a lot later than normal. Before we take a look, I just need to remind you that uh, the website in this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated in this video or at the website should be taken as investment advice. I can draw these lines on charts, and we know even though most of the time they work, sometimes they don't. And uh, so you need to do your own research, and you need to do investing that's based upon your own ability to, uh, to absorb risk and to handle potential loss. That said, let's uh, take a look at the chart. Well, another day today where it, it's, it looked ugly, and then we came back and closed even. The question is, are we closing near a bottom or are we closing just uh, as a small back test so far on our broken red support line? Now, remember, this line isn't absolutely perfect. That could be where it's supposed to be. That could be where it's supposed to be because even though most of the data points that define it line up nicely, that, that there's a very, very, very small portion of a percent of wiggle room. But this is where it was originally drawn, so that's where I'm leaving it. Interesting to note, a couple things. If we move in a bit, and by the way, my internet connection is kind of funky here. Everything seems to be taking a long time. You would think the uh, the folks here in California would uh, would do a little better than that. But anyway, um, I, I'm going to stick with the same thing I've been saying, and that is, whenever we get over this line, that should be the beginning of the next rally. You know, and I think. If we can do this fairly soon, I think that we may see that rally still uh, make a significant move up. Now, what's weird is if we look at the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days, it looks like a descend now instead of a descending wedge between these two uh, dark blue lines, it almost looks like a descending uh, broadening pattern. That's not something you see very often. See, if we look starting at the 19th through today, the moves have actually gotten more exaggerated. Now, a lot of times you may see this kind of exaggerated move when people are really being emotional to the on the sell side. We've lost the sense of control that, it, that seemed to be going along very nicely until yesterday and today. So, that said, maybe we're setting up a reversal. But I'm not going to say too much right now because this does look a, a, a bit odd. Um, I mentioned we had all kinds of reasons to bounce right here, and instead we sold off even further despite the fact that we did recover and we ended up today essentially where we started. So if there's good news, there's your good news. We had a uh, what what was effectively a... 20 point rally off the bottom. Matter of fact, the bottom was down here to about 1926. And we actually had more like a 26 or 27 point rally off that bottom. Then we had the little sell off near the end. So, guys, you know, uh, I apologize. It really looked like we were ready to maybe try to get back up into this pattern. We had reasons to expect potential support but obviously it didn't happen. And I would caution you to get too excited about this rally because it could just be a back test on our broken red uh, rising support line. 
and you'll also notice that the uh, that this descending wedge support line that got taken out um, uh, midday yesterday. Well, I say yesterday. You're watching this midday on the uh, first. We came back to that line, and that's where we turned back today. Now, keep in mind, we've said this many times. A broken descending support line doesn't always turn that much that strongly into resistance. So I think it would it could be possible to get back into this pattern and possibly even break out of it and get on about the business. But what concerns me most is the fact that we are by a small fraction, we did close underneath this red support line and again just to remind you that line goes back if the, if the chart will update here we go there's that line right there and you can see that there's a couple little places where it gets a little a little under a little over but we just have to wait and see guys see if we can recover if it, if it is going to recover, it's going to have to do so quickly. I, frankly, I think if we if we end up setting another low underneath 1925, then I feel pretty pretty strong that we end up coming down to uh, to test the low 1900s. But if we can get back up into this pattern and and make another try for this top line, I, I don't think all is lost at this point. So guys. There's your video for um, for trading on Thursday. What is it? The third. I'm just messed up with time because it's it's not past midnight here, but it is past midnight where I'm usually doing this from. Excuse me. Ah, shoot. Ah. So. Um, you know, I mentioned getting up above this line right here. There's a possibility, I just want to say this before I let go of this altogether. There is a small possibility that we could be making a very tiny inverted head and shoulders here. But like, like all of them, it would not be confirmed until we got above the neckline, which would be right here. And if we were to get above the neckline, that would certainly indicate uh, a retest of this uh, descending resistance line up uh, in, in, in the uh, high 1960s or even uh, a little bit over 1970 uh, as, as the market uh, opens tomorrow. So guys, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. Let's see if maybe I get it right today because yesterday didn't work out. Oh. Just one more thing. It's late and I'm dog tired. If we take a look at uh, at some descending resistance lines, this one seems to make sense right here. But we also have a second resistance line over these uh, two peaks right here that also seem to make a little sense, at least as far as that short-term leg down is concerned. So let's see if we can get get above this and this and this. So we got what what appears to be some fairly stout resistance right around the um, 1950, 1952 level. If we can plow through that tomorrow, then I think we got a very good shot at testing this line once again right here. So guys, thanks again for watching. Take care, and uh, maybe maybe this uh, bounce that we saw uh, starting late this morning, maybe we get some follow through tomorrow. Hey, that would certainly be nice. Thanks for watching. Take care.